A lunchbox? Lunchbox. Lunch. Every kid of the 90s has memories, good or bad, of opening up their lunchbox and hoping to find a tasty snack inside. These treats were easy to access and so much fun to eat. Get ready to reminisce because it's time to check out the top 10 best lunchbox snacks of the 90s. You're eating my special dietetic lunch. Uncrustables PBJ Sandwiches Uncrustables peanut butter and grape jelly sandwiches from Smuckers launched during the 90s and they are still available today. These soft bread sandwiches are round, crust-free, and crimped all around their diameters. The crimping keeps the peanut butter and grape jelly inside of the sandwiches. The filling won't leak out. It's peanut butter jelly time. Portable and tasty, Uncrustables are perfect for those who prefer sandwiches without the crusts. Nothing like a peanut butter and jellyfish jelly sandwich to help you get to sleep. These convenient snacks from the 90s still fill a need in the marketplace, and you'll find them in the freezer aisle of many grocery stores. Smuckers is based in Ohio, and the company has been around since 1897. Since Smuckers has a proven track record when it comes to offering great jellies to customers, it's no surprise that its sealed PB&J sandwich is such a big hit. This sandwich isn't patented, but the name Uncrustables is trademarked. Smuckers constructed a factory in Kentucky in order to facilitate production of these popular crustless sandwiches. Uncrustables peanut butter and grape jelly sandwiches are modern classics, but they aren't the only sandwiches in the Uncrustables product lineup. Check the freezer aisle at your fave grocery store to see which Uncrustables are available. Lunchables ham and cheddar combos. It's like no cheese I've ever tasted. Lunchables ham and cheddar with crackers meals were very popular during the 90s, and they are still available today. While Lunchables were actually Actually launched during the end of the 80s by Oscar Mayer, the popularity of Lunchables definitely soared during the 90s. While some people may not feel satisfied after eating Lunchables as a midday meal, those with less hearty appetites may find that Lunchables really satisfy. With Lunchables, ingredients are stacked on crackers. Ham and cheddar with crackers is a perennial favorite, but the pizza Lunchables was also very popular during the 90s. Kids, and maybe some adults, would make tiny pizzas with with cracker crusts by adding tomato sauce, cheese, and pepperoni-flavored sausage. Oh. My. God. Becky, look at that crust! The current Lunchables product line is really extensive. Clearly, Lunchable meals are still hitting the target with kids and parents. Today, consumers can even buy Lunchables that come with Capri Sun. There are also Lunchables which are made with natural cheese and meat. Lunchables uncured ham and cheddar is one example. Another choice is Lunchables Brunchables, which include classic breakfast ingredients. Lunchables snacks are also sold, and so are Lunchables Uploaded, which come with more of everything that kids enjoy for a more filling and variety-packed experience. The uploaded meals also come with drinks. Polio String Cheese is fun to eat. Polio String Cheese was a hit back in the 90s, and it's still popular today. Produced by Kraft Foods, this lunchbox favorite was a snack food and an activity. Some kids spent a lot of time deconstructing their cheese strings, others cut to the chase by munching on the cheese sticks without the usual peeling off of strings of cheese. Hey, Jimmy, give me a cheese with nothing. Nothing. However kids ate them, they enjoyed their good taste. Many adults indulged in polio string cheese, too. Polio string cheese is found in lunch boxes and in plenty of brown bag lunches. It's a tasty and convenient way to get a little healthy calcium during the day. Today, polio string cheese is available in four varieties. There is mozzarella string cheese, plus a mozzarella string cheese variety made with 2% milk. There are also twists, which are combos of mozzarella and cheddar, also available in a 2% milk variety. Get it! With the twists, some children untwist the cheese before they string it. Those who eschew dairy may not embrace the fun and taste of polio string cheese. Lots of people are turning to dairy alternatives these days. In the 90s, there were also dairy alternatives, but these alternatives weren't as popular back then as they are now. Fruit Roll-Ups These legendary fruit snacks come from the General Mills brand, Betty Crocker. They were 90s faves at lunchtime and anytime. Packed with intense taste, these fruit-flavored snacks made kids happy and parents liked eating them too. 
They taste purple stuff inside. Purple is a fruit. Like so many awesome snacks featured here today, fruit roll-ups are still out there in the marketplace. The concept for fruit roll-ups began to be explored during the 1970s. The product was launched during the 80s, and its popularity skyrocketed in the 90s. A brand called Uncle Toby's also produced similar snacks, which were promoted via TV ads in 1990. Today, there are many types of Betty Crocker fruit roll-ups to choose from, including tropical tie-dye, Aston Berry, and Strawberry. People can buy their favorite flavors or go for variety packs, which allow them to enjoy different flavors. So many snacks, so little time. A Blaston Berry fruit roll-up has 50 calories plus 7 grams of sugar. The first three ingredients listed for fruit roll-ups are corn syrup, dried corn syrup, and sugar. Most nutritionists advise parents to consider these lunchbox favorites occasional treats because they do contain empty calories. Fruit Gushers, the snack with liquid centers. Tilt your head back and I'll lean my liquid down into your mouth. Betty Crocker Fruit Gushers are usually called Gushers for short. They are fruit snacks that have liquid centers. They surged in popularity during the 90s and they are still beloved. Known for their distinctive long hexagon bi-pyramid shapes, these fruit snacks are made mostly from fruit juice and sugar. Inside of each fruit gusher, there's a sweet and thick liquid. The outside of the fruit gusher is made from a gummy type of colorful coating. Biting into a gusher releases a gush of liquid, and this is why these snacks have their unique name. 90s kids who found fruit gushers in their lunchboxes were generally happy campers. These snacks rated highly among school-age kids, tweens, and teens. The game obviously thinks you're a candy, even though you're weirdly misshapen. It's safe to say that parents occasionally enjoyed them too, even though they were made with kids in mind. Since they're still available, it's so easy to enjoy them at home or in packed lunches. Current Fruit Gushers varieties include Strawberry Splash, Sour Triple Berry Shock, Mood Morphers, Mouth Mixers Punch Berry, Tropical Flavors, and Flavor Mixers. There is also a variety pack available. When the 90s ended, Gushers stayed relevant, in part because a popular YTV show called Uh-Oh was sponsored by Fruit Gushers from 2001 to 2003. These fruit snacks have widespread appeal that has endured through the years. Capri Sun drinks are iconic. Can I buy you guys a drink? These lunchbox essentials were a big deal in the 90s. It was possible for kids to polish off these fruit drinks in no time flat. Sometimes a few big sips was all it took to finish a Capri Sun. These drinks come in convenient little pouches with small straws. These days, kids may enjoy Lunchables that include Capri Sun juices. The fruit drink pouches are also sold on their own, just like they were back in the 90s. The original juice drink contains ingredients that are all natural, sweetened with some sugar. The drinks don't contain artificial artificial preservatives, colors, or flavors. But that's all changed, thanks to the juice loosener. If you want to experiment with different flavors, or your kids do, you'll have plenty of product options, including fruit punch and strawberry kiwi, as well as lemonade and lots of other great flavors. There are even organic Capri Sun drinks available nowadays. Overall, there are seven main categories of Capri Sun drinks, from the original drinks to the organic drinks to a sports beverage version called Capri Capri Sun Sport, and beyond. Capri Sun is still a favorite drink brand for kids. It's a brand with staying power. High C juice is still a hit. I got here with a Frosty. For many people, High C is a taste of childhood. It brings back 90s memories. During the 90s, one flavor of High C, called Orange Lava Burst, was offered at McDonald's fast food joints. When McDonald's took the drink off the menu many years later, a lot of customers weren't happy, even though this popular High C flavor flavor was available elsewhere. High C is still sold today, and Orange Lava Burst is still a popular flavor, along with Boppin' Strawberry, Blazin' Blueberry, Poppin' Lemonade, and Torrential Fruit Punch. There are other flavors to choose from, too. High C appeals to kids. It's made from genuine fruit juice, and each drink box comes with a full day's supply of vitamin C. You want my vitamins? You want all my vitamins? Yes. The current High C product line has 50% less sugar than the original product line. In the 90s, drinks like Capri Sun and High C really ruled. Kids loved sipping and gulping them. They were fun to drink and perfect for school lunch.
lunches. Today, new generations are discovering these fruity bevies. High C is produced by the Coca-Cola Company. It was invented way back in the 1940s. Its inventor's name was Niles Foster. The drink was launched in 1947 in an orange flavor. Today, each high C drink box contains 10% fruit juice. Dunkaroos are a sweet treat. Plenty of kids love sweet treats, just like kids did back in the 90s. This is why Dunkaroos remained popular for years, even after the 90s ended. In case you've never tried them, Dunkaroos are cookies that come with frosting. Nice. For many kids, they are one of the premier lunchbox desserts. These snacks were launched in 1990 by the General Mills brand, Betty Crocker. With Dunkaroos, cookies are meant to be dipped into icing before they are inhaled. Each pack comes with several small cookies, plus enough frosting for dunking. The cookies came in a host of shapes. One popular shape was the hot air balloon. This famous dessert snack had a cartoon mascot who was a comical kangaroo. The cartoon mascot was called Sydney, and he had an Aussie accent. You call that a knife? This is a knife. In 1996, a new mascot, Duncan, was introduced after a special contest. In 2012, production of Dunkaroos stopped in America, but the cookies with frosting were still available in Canada. Some people brought Dunkaroos from Canada to the States when they needed a sugar fix, for themselves or for their kids. In 2018, Dunkaroos were discontinued in Canada. Yummy flavors included chocolate icing with graham cookies and vanilla icing with chocolate cookies. At one point, there were even SpongeBob SquarePants Dunkaroos, which featured bright yellow icing. Teddy Grahams are adorable and tasty. I mean, they say uh, tricks are for kids in the commercials. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Teddy Grahams aren't just for kids. Adults eat them too. These snacks became a sensation in the 90s, and they are still amazingly popular. Actually, the success of these little cookies isn't so surprising. They are adorable because they are shaped like tiny teddy bears, and they taste good. They come in different flavors, so there is something for everyone. Kids who found Teddy Grahams in their lunchboxes back in the 90s would gobble them up. These days, they still add tons of fun to school lunches. Nabisco launched these cute little cookies in 1988. Back in the 90s, they were very famous and very beloved. These days, Teddy Grahams are available in four flavors, which are honey, chocolate, cinnamon, and chocolatey chip. Yes, they are aimed at kids, but lots of adults snack on the cookies while they're watching TV or whatever. There are even recipes online which utilize the tasty little bear cookies in innovative new ways. I want to feel useful, you know? You may have a box of these cookies in your pantry right now. A lot of people do, especially if they are parents to young children. If you don't have any on hand, you may be craving them right now. They are mild cookies, sweet but subtle. Those who buy these cookies regularly know that they disappear fast. It's easy to eat a lot of Teddy Grahams. Zebra cakes have bold style. Is it dangerous? Zebra cakes were 90s faves, thanks to the bold graphic appeal of their black and white frosting. These cakes are still sold. They come from a company called Little Debbie. Zebra cakes feature yellow cake that's iced with white frosting and dark stripes made of fudge. Zebra cakes also have cream filling. The sight of zebra cakes in a lunchbox is going to put a smile on a child's face. These cakes made kids happy back in the 90s and their appeal hasn't faded. For your information, I happen to have a sugar addiction. If you want to relive childhood memories, you should know that zebra cakes are available in single single serving sizes, as well as family packs. So many 90s snacks, including zebra cakes, continue to intrigue new generations. These snacks keep packed lunches from seeming too dull. They are snacks that aren't likely to be traded to other classmates or thrown in the garbage. Try one, a few, or all of these modern classics to get that 90s lunchbox vibe, even if you're way past the lunchbox stage. If you're into baking, you'll find recipes online for cakes that are very very similar to zebra cakes, but it may be harder to make your own teddy grams or fruit gushers. You'll find more great videos right here. Just tap on that screen. And if you haven't joined our notification squad yet, show us some love and slam that subscribe button and click that bell.